talk is winds of change. I work in the field of feng shui. Feng shui is about space. It's about your home, your, your, your village, your town, and your country. Feng shui has another dimension. It's about time. We all lived in this time, and in feng shui, we can ex explain what happens when there are changes. In the Western world, we have units of time, hours, days, months, and years. But in the Chinese system, we have these, but each unit has a meaning and is part of a cycle. So each hour or day has its own characteristic. So we are talking now in the Chinese 180-year cycle. This comprises of nine 20-year sub-cycles. And I'm talking about period seven, which is from 1984 to 2004, and the present of period eight, 2004 to 2022. Each period is different. So we have an image of Jade Goody, who I think characterizes this period. Women came to the fore in this time, and also we had celebrities who were famous for being famous. There were also other characteristics where money was very important. If you worked in the financial services, you did well. If you wanted more money, you just borrowed it. Money also equals status. Another field of employment was the legal profession. There were many legal procedures built into businesses. So if you became a lawyer, you did well. Another field which is very important was communications. You came into that field, you could work into the media, print, radio, television, communications. That came, that came with the internet where it expanded very, very quickly. But far more importantly, it was the use by government who started broadcasting. They told us so many things that benefited us, but after a while, it got discredited. So we don't listen too much to much of the broadcast. During that time, we became a nation of shopkeepers. Sorry, of shoppers. <laughs> We even shopped for houses. We had two, three houses, and we just spent money because we love shopping. There was another interesting area which we developed, and there was enjoyment and leisure. A huge industry developed. If we couldn't get it in the UK, we went overseas. We went, and there is a huge leisure industry now in this country. But there is a downside to all this leisure. There was increasing consumption of alcohol. And this is an example of excess. Again, there was also a change in the sexual morals and crime. Our prisons were very full during this period. So now I'll talk about period eight, which is now, and it's totally different, or we're going to expect very, very different things. This is an image of Alto Kucha. He's the first Indian chef to win a, no, a Michelin star. He also was in the final of the great British cuisine. He was there twice, but he is an, a name now. The point of showing him was two, twofold. A, he's an entrepreneur, and also there is a big cultural mix now in this world. What's happening now, the new businesses will be of single people. We have a mainstream of many niches, and there is a fringe area of business. This fringe area will be coming in as a micro niche. The people whom will be considered celebrities will be people who create products. This is an image of John Ives, the designer of the iPod and the iPhone. A few decades ago, he wouldn't have been very much, but look at him now. The other area that will be coming through be nanotechnology, be it within our bodies using biological systems or outside of non-biological systems of using microtechnology or nanotechnology. All these things will be coming in, but the main point will be creativity. The other interesting thing will be happening is that we'll be living in villages, not physical villages, but they're all villages who are interlinked with a network of people who live throughout the world but have a common interest. 
So in other words, if you're a vegetarian bodybuilder, you have that network throughout the world. There is a sea of change in the attitudes. We are now looking at ourselves and our planet. Look at the campaign for global warming, sustainable, sustainable living. All these things are, we are looking at ourselves. So I'll be ending with some comparisons. This is an image of Katie Price and her ex-husband, Peter Andre. If you look at the tweets of Katie Price, it's all about I. This is what I get. This is what I get. Whilst Peter Andre is, how can I help you? Can you see the giving nature of it? Two big technological industrialists, Bill Gates, he was a systems man. He created systems and earned a lot of money out of it. But then you have Steve Jobs. He wasn't interested that much in money, but he was interested in creation of products. That's the main difference. One is period seven, period eight. These are two big internet monoliths. eBay is period seven. It's a very cold transaction. You've got a product, you've got a price, match, done, and you go away. Cold transaction. Facebook is about meeting of people and creating a relationship. It's a warm relationship that we carry on. And the final slide is of Rupert Murdoch, owner of a media conglomerate. It's very cold. You have to pay for information. Jimmy Wales, Wiki, Wiki and Wikipedia. It's free, it's collaborative, and it's big. So I would like to end. Period 7 It's all about I, I, I. That's past. We are now in period 8. It's about sharing and caring about everybody else. Thank you.